Hey guys, what's happening? This is Dan Stevers here with a quick tip. And today we're gonna to be talking about creating a fisheye effect inside of After Effects. Um, one of the drawbacks of the AE camera is that it doesn't let you um, do some of the cool effects that you get with real lenses, um, like, like a fisheye distortion effect. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that. Uh, and it's done with a free plugin, and you can see it here. Um, it's called Cubic Lens Distortion and uh, I'll put the uh, link below. So go ahead and download that and drop that inside of your plugins folder inside of After Effects. And once you got that done, uh, let's open up After Effects and I'll show you guys how to use it. Okay, so I just have a, uh, a example scene set up here and it's got a, uh, <laughs> a picture from a video that I did uh, that was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, first thing you're gonna need to do is create an adjustment layer inside of After Effects. So let's go layer, new adjustment layer. And uh, we're gonna be putting our effect on this adjustment layer. So go to effects and it should be called Francois Tallier. <laughs> and nothing happens right away, that's fine. Um, so there are a couple things that this plugin can do uh, and they're all pretty cool. Uh, the first thing it can do is, it's called Chromatic Aberration, and uh, what this is, it's, it's kind of like the colors tear apart as they get to the outside of the screen, and uh, I can, you can see what's happening, it kind of creates, uh, you see this a lot, uh, it's, it's cool, uh, I don't know, you, you see a lot of it in like indie videos and stuff, uh, motion graphics stuff, where it, you know, it just kind of makes the scene look kind of messy and uh, not so pristine. And, you know, us motion graphics guys, we're always looking for ways to try and make our scenes look less sterile and, uh, I don't know, less boring. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit reset there. So that's one option that this plugin can do. Another thing, uh, uh, we're going to be looking at the distortion here. And this is what's going to create our cool effects here. So the first effect we'll do, we'll pull it negative right here. I'll pull it to like, I don't know, negative 0.05 there. And I, I have my camera um, animating moving in here. So we'll see what happens when you animate it now that I made it a negative number for the distortion. As things uh, get to the edges here, it kind of like pulls things apart. Um, and it looks really cool. It's a it kind of makes it look like your environment is uh, spherical, like it's kind of wrapping around the camera, and that's a pretty cool look. Um, so that's one option uh, of a way to make make things look cool. Let's hit reset again. Now let's drag it the other way. So now if I drag it in the positive, and I'll go 0.05, uh, maybe like 0 0.07. And uh, now we're getting this uh, this fisheye look here. And I have another, another camera move that's gonna show what's happening here a little bit better. Uh, but you'll notice that it, it crops in on our edges here. That's pretty easy to handle. You can do it right inside of the plugin here. You can just go to the scale option and scale it up. And uh, if you, there's another way we can get rid of this edge here and that's to just select our photo that we got here and just go to stylize, go to motion tile hit mirror edges and then put your output width to something like 130. There you go, and uh, just got rid of the edges there. Well, we almost got rid of the edges. Uh, okay, so uh, there you go, we're taking care of that. So let's do a quick render and see how that looks. Uh, so this is the fisheye effect that uh, I was talking about and that we're going for. You can see how, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know any other way to explain it than it just looks like a rad fisheye lens here. So it kind of simulates that look there. And uh, there you go. That's a uh, pretty easy way to make your project look a lot better. Hope that was helpful, guys, and I'll see you next time.